No. The one I'm pointing to. No. 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 If we don't catch us up, the propulsion tank will overflow and flood the ship with poisonous gas. This? Yes. Hello, my name is, uh, Fu Manchu, and... Oh. Crap. Uh, hold on a second. Makeup! I knew I hired you guys for something. All right, don't act like that's never happened to you. Okay, yeah, I cosplay. Shut up. Anyways, hey, you know, back in January, I reviewed the following. This little tiny Kylo Ren from the Galactic Heroes line from Play School, and I absolutely love it. And to this day, I have yet to see another one in the stores. So I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, wait, is this made by Play School? It says Hasbro down there. Yeah, I had to check on the back, but it's totally play school. Anyways, yeah, I found this Kylo Ren at a Target, and I was very happy. Now, there's supposed to be a flame trooper that comes, you know, not with him, but in the wave that he's in. And I've yet to find that one either. And, uh, like I said, this is the only Kylo Ren that I've ever seen. But, I mean, look at him. He's so cute, man. I love it. This thing is tiny and cute, and he is so cool, and I absolutely love it. So, imagine my surprise when I was walking through a Walmart, and I looked over and went, Oh! That's cool! So today's review will be on the following! Today's review will be on the Hasbro and Play School Heroes, Galactic Heroes, Thin Jakku Outfit, and First Order Stormtrooper. Check this out. They go right with that little Kylo Ren that I had already, and this is awesome. And check that out. It's the one that he fought when uh, he yelled, Traitor, and threw down his... Uh, whatever, shield and gun or whatever, and was like, I'm gonna beat you up with this Tonfa stick. And Finn was all like, please don't beat me up! But you know what? That is awesome. These two figures look amazing. I absolutely love it. I didn't know that they'd be making more of these. I really hope they would, and I'm so happy to see this two-pack. This is amazing. Now, the back of the package is kind of plain. It's got a little bio there, and then it's got a picture of the two figures standing in a hangar bay of, like, a Death Star or something. That's pretty cool. And that is very neat indeed. Check that out. Now, I don't think all their weapons, of course, like the Kylo Ren, their weapons are just stuck in their hands, so you can't take them out. But that's okay, because they look awesome holding them. And then down here, you'll just see the little words and stuff. There's not much to the back of the package. So let's look at the front of the package one more time. Oh, don't fall in the hole! Don't worry, I didn't. Anyways, check this out. I think they look amazing. Now, when I saw these hanging on the peg, the first thing I thought of was that Kylo Ren. Now, like I said, there's supposed to be a single-packed flame trooper, too. And I've yet to see him, and I've been looking everywhere for that thing. But you know what? When I found these, it made me forget about them, because I'd rather have a normal clone trooper than a flame trooper any day. And that is awesome. But when I move these on the pegs, that's not all I found. No, 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 because today's review will also be on the following. With the exact same packaging, as you can see, you will also see over here, Ray in Jakku outfit and Captain Phasma. Check that out. They are so cute. I love them. They look so cool. And yeah, like I said, I was very happy to see these little two packs. This is very neat. I love the little artwork there of her, and that is so cool. But yeah, check those figures out. I think they are so cute. Okay, let's look at the back of the package. Now, just like the Finn package, as you can see, there's not much to this one. Uh, you know, there's a rip there. I guess you can count that. But, uh, yeah, they look pretty cool indeed. There's no real other pictures of any other figures from this line, so who knows how many of these things they're going to make. And I hope they keep making them because, man, I want everybody in this scale. That would be so awesome. Okay, back down the hole we go. Now, like I said, when I saw these hanging on the pegs, I was so happy. And you know what? I was happy with just finding this one. But when I pulled this one away and I found that one... I freaked out. That is totally cool. So I say we waste no more time, and I say we open them! First up, we have Finn and his ex-friend. I guess the guy who wants to bid him up now for being a traitor. And check that out. They look amazing. Now, I was saying that their accessories aren't removable, but as you can see, his shield isn't in his hand. Now, I didn't even catch that in the package, as stupid as that sounds. I wasn't paying that much attention. But yeah, he can actually hold onto the shield in his hand like so. And honestly, that shield is almost as big as he is, so it really is a shield. And that is awesome. I love these little super deformed guys. They look so cute. Now, if you're wondering about the articulation, Finn can do that while the Stormtrooper turns into like a little droid with big shoes. Now, that's pretty cute indeed. No, actually, the articulation on these guys is pretty cool. Aside from their little legs, who barely have any articulation, but they do swivel out there at their hips, they do have little hinges and swing-out joints on their shoulders, and then their little wrists can spin and their heads can turn, and that is awesome. 
you know, the figures from behind, and they look pretty cool indeed. I mean, they got all the little details here. Even though they're super deformed figures, they look very cute indeed. Okay, next! Next up, we have Ray and Captain Phasma, and that is awesome. And Captain Phasma has a little cloth cape, a uh, cloth cape, a cloth cape. <laughs> she has a cloth cape, and that looks pretty awesome indeed. Check that out. Look at her staff. I still say those are lightsabers on the end there. I don't know. They look like lightsabers to me. But, uh, yeah, she looks pretty cute indeed. Although Daisy Ridley is a lot cuter than that. So that should tell you how cute Daisy Ridley is. Very cute. But anyways, there are the figures looking very cool. Now let's check out their articulation. So yeah, they have enough articulation to have fun with them because the old play school toys barely did anything at all. These swivel at the wrists and everything, and that's pretty cool. Now, aside from their legs, because like I said, their little legs are kind of like attached, so you can't like raise one leg and then the other. No, you got to raise them both at the same time, and they're either in a setting position or a standing position, and that's it. Okay, let's flip them around. So, here are the figures from behind, and there's a couple of things I noticed. One, I like that little bag on Ray's hip. You can see her little ponytails are awesome indeed. And then uh, Captain Phasma here looks a lot like Cobra Commander in his battle armor, so that's pretty cool indeed. Now, it might be a little humiliating, but here's what her back looks like with her cape over her head, so I'm sure that happens occasionally, you know, seriously. When you're running down a hall, you fall down, pff, your cape goes over your head. But you know what? She looks pretty awesome indeed, and it says oil on her back. Very neat indeed. So, before these guys all square off and fight, I say we look at them up close, what do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close up look, and first up is Finn, and check out his jacket. That looks so awesome. Well, I should say, uh, post jacket, because apparently that's post jacket. But anyways, there's his gun. Very cool. They even painted parts of it blue and silver. Very neat indeed. Working our way up to his face. Check that out. Ah, it's a little super deformed John Boyega. And that is pretty cool indeed. I love it. Working our way down his sleeve. Very cool. I think his jacket looks a lot like uh, Luke's jacket that he wore on Yavin for the medal, you know, award thing. I'm a bobber. And, uh, yeah, um, that, there's his shoes looking very cool. I think that is awesome. Okay, let's flip him around. So, here he is from behind, and there's his hair, looking very cool indeed. Working our way down his jacket, you'll see all the little details, like the little straps and stuff. And then down here, you'll see his shoes. Very cool. Oh, look, he's got, like, Nikes or something, or splotchy shoes. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. That's pretty neat indeed. Okay, next! Next up, we have little Daisy Ridley, who you thought couldn't get any cuter, but check this out. She looks so cute. I love it! This is so awesome. I think these little things are so neat, and I'm glad they're making them, and I can't wait. I hope they make more for, you know, Force Awakens, which I'm sure they will. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that they make some ships or something, bigger play sets or something from, you know, scenery from the, from the show. I think that would be very cool indeed, because I think these things are super, super cool. And here's her shoes down here. Now let's flip her around. So, here she is from behind, and like I said, too, these figures are cheap, man. I got them for six dollars, you know, per set. I think the little Kylo Ren was like three. I mean, they're, it's ridiculously cheap. I love it, because they're so cute. I still say that's a lightsaber, and that down here is a lightsaber. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I can write fan fiction if I want. There's a little bag, and that is pretty cool. Next! Next up is the Stormtrooper that doesn't suffer fools gladly. He will yell traitor at you and try to beat you up. Check that out. He looks very cool. Very frowny-faced. What's wrong, Stormtrooper? Why are you so sad? I guess if your friend turned on you, you would get sad too. Here's this Tanfa over here that can somehow block lightsabers. Uh, okay. But uh, there, there's his armor over there. Very cool indeed. Here's his shoes. Looking very neat indeed. Now, there's not much to these figures, but as you can see, they've got more detail than they need to. I mean, that's cool. They could have just made that smooth and flat, and it would have been fine. Left off that little silver circle thing. They could have done all that, and it still would have looked good. Let's flip them around. But no, they give you details. Look at it. I mean, check that out. That's pretty cool. They didn't need to do any of that, and it looks amazing. There's where he would put his lightsaber if he had a lightsaber. There's his butt. There's his legs. Very cool indeed. Working our way up his tonfa up here at the top. It's red. That's pretty cool indeed. Okay, last but not least... Last up, we have Captain Phasma, who everybody said didn't do a whole lot in the movie, but that's okay, because she looked cool doing it. Check that out. I do wish they would have altered her voice more, because all I could think of was the lady from Game of Thrones. I was like, eh, I wish you had, like, a different voice. What happened to the time when they actually let other people do the voices of the masked characters? I mean, seriously. You know, Boba Fett's voice was not Jeremy Bullock's voice, and then you had David Prowse's voice. It definitely was not Darth Vader's voice. I mean, seriously, what happened? They could have, like, given another actor a job and said, hey, you're going to be Captain Phasma's voice. That would have been pretty cool.
Yeah, here's Cobra Commander from behind. Oh, wait, no, that's Captain Phasma. But anyways, here's her cloak looking very neat. You'll see that they painted the edges of it. Very cool. And then it's kind of see-through, but not really here in the video. And then down here you'll see her shoes and a couple little fuzzies. There you go. Pretty neat indeed. So here's Finn and Ray wondering if they can take Captain Phasma and the traitor stormtrooper over there. And they're saying, yeah, we can take them. But then they didn't count on this. They forgot that I, earlier, purchased Kylo Ren, and there he is, and he's a lot bigger than the others. Well, he's about the same size as Captain Phasma, but he's a lot broader, I guess you could say. And when I first saw it, I thought maybe he was out of scale, because look how much bigger he is than these guys. But then again, you know, he was pretty big in the movie. But yeah, these look amazing, and I absolutely love them, and I cannot recommend them enough. I do think Kylo Ren's a little too hard to find, and I do think that Flame Trooper obviously is very elusive, because I haven't seen him at all. But yeah, if you can find these two packs, and hopefully they'll make more, I'd say pick them up, because they are awesome. So there's my review of the Hasbro Galactic Heroes, Finn, Ray. we have uh, Captain Phasma and the Stormtrooper, and that is awesome. These figures are really cool, and like I said, I can't recommend them enough. Besides, they're just cute, man, and they're cheap, so if you see them, pick them up, because I love them. So, until next time, tune in for more... Foo Reviews, right, Ray? No, no, no.